All right, well, I had to jump cut it, and I have a feeling with the size of these video files, <coughs> this is going to be another two-part episode. All right, yeah, this douchebag's still alive. No surprise there. Down we go. Okay. I hate you. still had his dark orb in the air. How did he cast another spell that fast? How did I get to... God damn it. This is so fucking terrible. Keeps getting me every fucking time. I'm pretty mad about the debating on the division. Wait, wait, I have an item for this. What am I doing? I'm being foolish is what? All right, now we're gonna go to the undead crypt. Just to the entrance. Cause, um... I forget his name, but the the boss of the Grey Warden Grave Wardens who we can summon when we fight Velstadt. He has like thirteen effigies for sale. No, I don't know how much they cost off the top of my head.
Well, what fucking spell was that? You have got to be shitting me. Oh my god. Wow. What the f- oh. I'm taking more physical damage. In every fight where that matters. Because I'm not wearing my ring of steel protection. I need to just remember that. Alright, well let's get my humanity back. And I would prefer to ignore him. I'm just going to try killing some of the abominations in this zone until at least one drops an effigy. So that's all I need. Tower of Prayer, and we're gonna, just going to farm for effigies, and that's what we're going to do. Because getting to that guy in the undead crypt is hard. I don't want it. I want to do it. All of a sudden, these things won't drop an effigy to save their life. Come on, game. They dropped so many when I was just trying to get through here. Thank you. Alright, there's an effigy. Here we go. Gotta focus. Focus and think. <coughs> Fine. No. Yeah. The mouth. If. We're trying it again. <coughs> 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 
<coughs> Man, I am I'm tired of being sick. I'm tired of struggling with this boss. Guess what, boys? The run back is clear. That's something. Fuck you. Oh my god. Achievement unlocked. Selfless giver. That's for maxing out our devotion to a covenant. We also got the Dark Lurker soul. Oh my god. I feel so good. Guys, I feel so good. I feel so vindicated. So, so terribly alive. It's wonderful. All right, let's check out the Dark Lurker Soul. Where even is it? Ah. Soul of what lurks in the Dark Chasm. The Dark Chasm of old is the remnant of some ancient, dissipated being. Use the special soul of what lurks within to acquire numerous souls or to create something of great worth. All right. Whew. Praise the sun. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what up, my dude? Your devotion to your covenant has deepened and you've gained a rank. Young undead, you've discovered the truest dark within you. A deep, deep dark it is. 
the dark that we must all face. We need the Abyss more now than ever. Climax, Xanthus crown, overcoat, gloves, and waist cloth. May the dark shine your way. Thanks, buddy. Oh, man. All right. Let's look at the Xanthus set. This blindingly bright yellow costume is said to have been worn by the Xanthus king. Perhaps the heinously towering headcloth crown served some purpose, or perhaps it was some strange display of power. Xanthus overcoat. This blindingly bright yellow costume is said to have been worn by the Xanthus King. Despite the costumes being in near tatters, its yellow hues are mysteriously unfaded. Xanthus Gloves This blindingly bright yellow costume is said to have been worn by the Xanthus King. Despite the costumes being in near tatters, its yellow hues are mysteriously unfaded. And this waist cloth, waist cloth, this blindingly bright yellow costume is said to have been worn by the Xanthus King. Despite the costumes being in mere tatters, its yellow hues are mysteriously unfaded. And let's look at the climax hex. A hex that distorts the power of life, emits a mass of dark, but at the cost of all souls. Strength varies depending on the number of souls, not a hex to be used lightly. Catalyst Sacred Chime. Alright. OMG. That was worse than the dragon. Because you can't really cheese him. And in the end, what did I do? I got good. I finally figured out how to dodge his spells. Hey, eventually. I'll realize that's always the only way. Alright, so let's head to the Brightstone Cove. I want to visit Ornifex and see the, um... what we can make from the Dark River Soul, because the balls would better be good. Oh wow. I've been to Ornifex enough times, the Basilisk is dead. That's pretty. Fireball, and that's my standard. We'll go visit Strayed. <sighs> I mean, wow, I can hardly believe it. But we got Selfless Giver, which is to max out your devotion to a covenant. That's the way to do Pilgrims of Dark, is to clear all three abysses and kill the Dark Lurker. So Strayed should give me something. Well, Barry, are you? I guess it's a spell. Life Drain Patch. Consume a number of souls and affix Dark to a certain spot. Inflicts damage upon those who touch it. This distorted dark, brewed by hexers, drains the life force of those who touch it. Catalyst Sacred Chime. Feeble cast. Alright. Well. It's after me again. Let's go visit. Gavlan. We got some stuff I don't care for, believe I mean. Alright. This is how we do it here. Mm. 
machine gun kill you too. It's so easy. Large tight night shard. Okay, very good. We go visit Goblin. We're gonna level up once. <clears throat> Maybe twice. Drake Keeper's Shield. And get rid of it. I don't care. Priestess Headpiece. Lion Warrior Cuffs. Don't care. Drake Keeper Boots. Don't care. Xanthus Set. Don't care. Keep my Smelter Set. No, didn't I get an upgrade? Yes, I did. Cover the Silver Serpent Ring. No bolts. Some iron grade arrows. Great. What about in here? Consumables. Anything? I don't think so. No, I don't want to get rid of. Alright, a large titanite shard. Yes, a twinkling titanite. Yes. Petrified dragon bone. Yes. Poison stone. Yes. Bleed stone. Yes. Keep my slab. Many. Waiting on chunks, right? I think so. All right. So let's go to Majula. Gain my one level. Then we're actually going to head to the. Um, so then we're going to start using the Ashen Mist Heart for its actual purpose, which is, um, if you remember, those uh, alas, nothing happens. And we saw one of those like giant tree fusion things. Um, the Ashen Mist Heart is how we attract those. And each of them is leveled in the form of someone's memory. Bearer until. Yeah, you level me up. Faith to 11. Well, let's go. And then. Unbeknownst. And that is where we are finally going to end what I have little doubt is going to be a two part episode. This has been Let's Play Dark Souls 2. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, much head bashing. I hope you will give the video a like and consider subscribing to my channel. If you care to discuss this or any of my other content, the best place is my Discord server. There's a link in the video description that I set to never expire. Discord is a really bad habit of expiring those links anyway. If that has happened, uh, please contact me directly and I will be more than happy to send you an invite myself. If you care to support me or the channel, the best way apart from liking and subscribing is through my Patreon page. Patreon supporters get to nominate and vote for the games they would like to see me play depending on the tier of support they pledge. Currently working my way through Outer Wilds in the Patreon slot, a game I'm thoroughly enjoying. Um, and once a game is finished, in my aggressively completionist style, even including achievements where practical, um, then I have my supporters choose another. So if getting involved in that process interests you, if there are things you'd like to see me play and you want to be able to steer me in that direction, uh, the link to my Patreon is also in the video description. Regardless, I really do want to thank you for watching. I am grateful for your time and attention. I appreciate you very much. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you soon. Try not to get COVID. It sucks. Bye-bye.